Well, what's going on guys and welcome back to a new video. My name is Joshua Daniel George, a social media marketer and online coach. And as you can see, I am rocking the cap and just an old hoodie today. It's just one of them days where we just get a lot of work done. We abandon all sense of fashion, all hygiene, all that lot. And uh, like I said, you know, we just absolutely crush it in terms of the workload. I had a lot of stuff to do today. Um, and it's too fair at the time of recording this is 2 p.m. So I have gotten the majority done that I wanted to get done today So that is uh, that's all good and now I've got a little spare hour to basically film a YouTube video for you guys So in this video in this lesson if you will uh, I'm basically going to explain how you can run Facebook ads for your social media marketing clients No, I don't waste no time Okay guys and welcome to the video. Hope you enjoyed the introduction. By the way guys, what do you guys think of the uh, little bee there in the background? You guys might need to squint and, and zoom in a bit because obviously I'm uh, quite small on the screen here. But uh, yeah, just thought it was pretty cool to add to the collection into like the backdrop. And uh, yeah, without rambling on too much, let's uh, actually get started. So how to run Facebook ads for SMMA clients. And let's just start at the start, at the overview, at the ecosystem of Facebook, because I get so many questions about this. And even in the lifestyle design community, so many people ask like, how does this work? How do you run ads for Facebook uh, clients? Do you pay for the ads? Um, you know, do your invoice for the ads, does your retainer include you and so on and so forth. So I thought, okay, let's just put it all to bed once and for all and explain it uh, nice and neatly in a presentation so you guys can understand what is going on. So it all starts off with your personal profile. So the Facebook ecosystem starts with your own personal Facebook page. Every single Facebook page can have one business manager. So you cannot create two business managers, three business managers, etc. One personal profile equals one business manager. If for some reason you get your business manager banned or anything along those lines, you will need to try and find another personal profile to form another business manager, okay? So one PP equals one BM. Then you have an ad account, okay? So you've got a Facebook ad account, uh, every single business manager starts with one ad account, but if you are compliant with Facebook's advertising policy for several weeks, you have the possibility of uh, creating multiple ad accounts. Now, there are a few little misconceptions about uh, what happens here. I've seen a few little videos on this uh, where people have said like, oh yeah, you need to um, have like one first deposit from Facebook where you basically pay for the ads once and then you get five ad accounts, etc. Um, and I just think, guys, like you've got no idea what you're talking about, okay? The quickest way to get five ad accounts is by doing two things. Number one is verifying your business manager as an official business. That usually, 80 to 90% of the time, will unlock the five additional ad accounts or by being compliant with Facebook's advertising policy for several weeks, which means that you know your ads are not getting rejected or banned, etc. And yes, it is true, you will need to pay. Um, so usually after you've spent about 20 euros, um, you know, you'll have your deposit. Sometimes, um, depending on how it's structured, you start off with six euros. So after six euros, you, you hit that payment threshold, you pay Facebook, um, and then from there, um, you know, like, like I said, you've made the first deposit and then uh, around mm -hmm. roughly 20 euros after you've been complying with Facebook and advertising policies for a few weeks, you've got your business manager verified, uh, you should be able to unlock the five additional ad accounts. So this is, in a nutshell, what your Facebook ecosystem should look like. You've got your personal profile, you've got your business manager, which is basically your agency. Beneath that, you've got all of your ad accounts. And then beneath that, obviously, you've got your pixel and so on and so forth. But I'll just leave that. Um, I'll leave that you know, aside for now. That'll be a video for another day. So this is what your ecosystem looks like. And um, as you can see, I drew a little green circle around it just to basically show that, okay, this is what your ecosystem is. And your client has a similar thing. So your client also has their own little ecosystem. So your client has a personal profile, 
and your client has a business manager and your client runs uh, Facebook ads through the multiple ad accounts. More often than not, the client will not be educated on how the ecosystem works, so they usually will have one ad account, uh, one business manager, etc. and then you can come in and explain the value of having multiple ad accounts. And for those that do not know what the value actually is of having multiple ad accounts, basically, if you have your ad account banned, you cannot create any more ad accounts. So you're best maxing out uh, the amount of ad accounts that you can create from the start so that if something happens to your ad account, you can always, uh, you've always got a few more ad accounts to fall back on. And yes, you know, we always try and be compliant with Facebook's advertising policies, but they are always changing. You know, what is what used to be allowed is no longer allowed today. What used to be, um, you know, basically against advertising policies is allowed today and so on and so forth. They are getting stricter and stricter every single time, every update that is being made. Facebook are doubling down on everything. When I started all of this back in the day, you could run fitness related content without any issues, earn money online content without any issues and so on and so forth. And now literally all you need to do is post a picture of someone with a six pack and you get flagged for creating an unreal perception of reality. All you need to do is say, I can show you how you can start a business from your laptop and you'll be flagged for uh, promoting a multi-level marketing scheme. Okay, Facebook are really strict with this. Why? Because Facebook's number one priority is always the user experience, okay? And you might think, well, Facebook is a business, they want to make money. Yes, that is true, but without the users, there is no money to be made. So Facebook's number one priority is to give the users the best experience possible. And us businesses, media buyers, agencies, etc., we all come secondary to that. And that is why Facebook are doubling down on um, you know how strict they are with the advertising policies. So, and that is why you need multiple ad accounts or why I highly recommend you create multiple ad accounts before it's too late. Because if you have two ad accounts and one of them gets banned, you cannot create ad account three, four, and five. But if you've already got the five ad accounts and ad account two gets banned, you've still got one, uh, three, four, and five to fall back on, okay? So what you basically need to do now is get access to the business manager. And there are two ways of doing this. I just wanna quickly interrupt this video and basically mention to you guys that I have a free social media marketing course and you can literally download this course if you are subscribed to my YouTube channel. So basically what I've done is I have created a custom audience with Google Ads. Uh, for those of you that are subscribed to my channel and you guys will see a pre-roll advertisement on one of my videos where I basically give you the direct link to download this course. So it's an unpublished link on Teachable, which you will only see if you are subscribed to my channel. So if you want a free social media marketing course, all you need to do is subscribe to my channel and then you will see my advertisements. So without further ado, let's hop back into the video. Um, this is method number one. So you, what you do is, or what the client basically does, is they add your business manager as a partner. How do they do that? By adding your uh, business manager ID. Uh, they basically fill that in and then add your business manager as a partner. And because you get access to their business manager, uh, they can basically select that you also get access to their ad accounts, their pixels, their dynamic product, uh, catalogs, you know, and so on and so forth. Everything you need can basically be, um, because it's all beneath their business manager, you can get access to that, okay? So this is method number one. Method number two is my method, and it's just personal preference, okay? Not one is better than the other. I find this the easiest one to do. Uh, there's no copying and pasting codes over IDs, etc. Um, so what I actually do is I just say to my clients, attach uh, my personal profile to your business manager. So I give them my email that I have logged into with my personal profile and they add that to the business manager, okay? And then from there, I get access to the same thing. So there's no IDs back and forth, etc. There is no difference which one um, you attach. The only difference is that if you have a contractor, their personal profile will also need to be added to their business manager. That is the only difference. And for some of you that do not want the client to know that you are working with a contractor, etc., you will need to figure it out or you can do the, the former where you attach the business manager. We are very transparent and upfront with our clients. We always say to them, listen, there will be multiple people working on this account. And I have noticed that by being honest and upfront with the clients, 
they never find it, you know, an issue, anything like that. They still pay the same retainer, regardless of if five people or one person is working on the other account. So that is how I do it. Another great way uh, thing about this is if you are, um, so basically this, when they add your personal profile to their business manager as an admin, because that is also something that I hear a lot of people say, you need to be an employee, an analyst, and stuff like that. Just be an admin. It, you, you, unless you have all of the rights and basically you know you've, you've got the same amount of power as the client has as well and because you're an admin you can also add more people so what we usually do on our onboarding system we have uh, one personal profile that is attached to the business manager and then from there uh, we can basically get access within the team by using that one personal profile to add the rest okay so the personal profile will get admin access to this business manager and then this personal profile has the same amount of power as the client and then uh, this personal profile can add the contractor and the head of operations etc so you can have multiple people working on their business manager at the same time okay so after you've gained access to the business manager this is what it looks like so obviously you've, you've got your ecosystem here but you basically hop over to their ecosystem so you and the clients both have access to the client's business manager and beneath the business manager, you've got the ad accounts, you've got the Facebook pixel, you've got the catalog and so on and so forth, okay? So this is what it looks like. And like I said, if you are working with a contractor, you add the contractor's personal profile to this as well and then your contractor, you and your client all have the same access to the client's business manager and you can all access all of the assets uh, at the same time etc okay so that is method number one method number two like i said or actually this is method number one this is method number two uh, so the other method is you and your contractor have access to your business manager and your business manager becomes a partner of the client's business manager okay so like i said this is what i do this is what is also possible it's completely up to you what you want to do okay now the reason why we do it this way um, is because we want to make sure that if a client's ads get rejected or banned, that it doesn't impact our own agency or our personal profile. So if we, for example, um, let me just move back. So if, for example, we just get access to their ad account, um, not their business manager, and their ad account goes to our ecosystem, then their ads could actually infect our ecosystem. So we want to keep this as uh, like a clean slate basically this is like the safe haven okay nothing happens to your ecosystem until you start running ads yourself so we don't want to be working with uh, for example a client that is in forex trading in uh, it could be anything you know even for example we had a client that was in real estate and we even got ads banned for them we we've or we're still working with a dentist client now who's currently on pause uh, because of the the pandemic and we set up a, it was like a before and after with dental implants, uh, without dental implants, and then with dental implants, and we had like a before and after shot, um, not next to each other because we understand that that is not allowed, but we had like a little a little slideshow basically of what that looked like and the procedure, etc. and that still got flagged, it still got rejected, we still got the other account banned. Now luckily within the team, we know how to deal with this, we've got all the scripts, etc. Um, you know, same as basically people that have enrolled into my program, you know, everyone's got those scripts that will basically allow you to get your ad account back, etc. cetera, um, nine times out of 10, because obviously it's not a foolproof system. We are still reliant on Facebook to give us the ad accounts back. But if that ad account was under our ecosystem, that could have impacted uh, the rest of our, basically our system, because let's say we've already gotten an ad account banned, and a new ad account comes in, gets banned as well, Facebook might say, oh, hang on, something in this ecosystem is not right. Something is going wrong. Let's not take the risk with this ecosystem and shut it down altogether. And that is what I had um, a, about a year ago now uh, where they literally took down my entire personal profile. So not just my business manager, not just the ad accounts, no, my entire personal profile. So actually now, um, I do not run ads under Joshua Daniel George anymore on Facebook because I can't actually access that account anymore. I can only access it um, in a private way, so I can you know talk to friends and you know add people, uh, etc. In a normal way, but I can't actually use it for uh, business reasons. And that this is basically the message that I got. 
uh, this business didn't comply with our advertising policies. Its ad accounts and ads have been disabled. And it also says you are no longer allowed to use Facebook products to advertise. So my personal profile was restricted. Uh, for those of you that are in the program, if you go to the ecosystem module in the mastery stage, if I'm not mistaken, um, I basically explain exactly what I did, what I done wrong, and how I basically you know got back up and running again. But uh, with that said, to wrap things up, this is basically what I want to um, you know bring to you guys or give to you guys, advise you guys that uh, the client pays for the ads. Okay, his credit card is attached to his business manager, so you do not pay for the ads. You do not even touch the payment method, anything like that, because. His credit card is attached to his business manager and you just come into his business manager, use his credit card to run the ads, okay? You do not invoice for the ads either. Your retainer is separate. Your retainer does not include the ad budget either. So if you, uh, let's say you invoice them a thousand a month, then that is yours to keep. So your uh, ad budget or their ad budget is not included within that and that's basically what I mentioned in the next one as well So your retainer is separate from the ad budget. You do not mention the ad budget They give you the budget to work with after they've paid your retainer So I should say here if your retainer is a thousand a month that is 100% yours to keep excluding tax Obviously, we've all got to pay tax. There is no way around that. Okay, but the retainer is yours You do not spend your retainer on the ads you run the ads in the client's ad account, as I mentioned before. So you do not run the ads in your own ad account, not unlike that. You use their ad account, their business manager to run the ads. Why? Because at the end of the day, it's their data. It's not our data to use. And like I said, we want to protect our ecosystem. So we want to make sure that um, anything that happens in the client's ad accounts does not impact ours. Okay. You run the ads via the client's business manager, as I already explained, and you get access to their business manager. And you do not attach their ad account to your business manager. Why? Because, like I said, it might infect your ecosystem. Okay, so just to wrap things up, I want to quickly finish off with a, a testimonial video from Erwin, who is a good friend of mine. Um, mm -hmm. And he's basically been through the Lifestyle Design Mastery course and wants to give his two cents on it. Hey guys, Erwin here. I run a marketing agency and I wanted to give my quick feedback on Joshua, his new course. Now, I met Joshua, I think like three years ago already. We met in London and from that moment on, he has always given me excellent advice when it comes to running a marketing agency. Now, that being said, once I got the V2 version of his new course, this was like next level. Like in here, he literally showed me how I can absolutely automate the entire agency but while doing so, I can make more impact for my clients and with the free time, invest it more in the business. So that really expands and basically, yeah, just 10 X is what I'm doing in here. So with that being said, you know, like I've got, got an access to majority of courses, to be honest, and the majority of them, you know, they only pinpoint certain points. For example, some only touch on outreach, some only touch on systems where there are rarely any courses out there when it comes to social media marketing that give you, so to say, the entry or more advanced thoughts on each key module you need to run a successful agency. And in this course, Joshua actually gives you this. Like he really shows you all the modules, but more so how it all interlinks together. And that's like, for me, has been the most powerful thing to you know really know what I need to do when I have the materials, but more so how all other parts flow together. So it becomes one cohesive, power system to make more impact in your marketing agency now. So if that's exactly what you're looking for, don't look any further. This is the course to get. Yes. So good words there from Erwin. And um, to be completely open and honest and upfront with you guys, Erwin has not purchased my course. Erwin received my course through me. Uh, you know, we are close friends. And to be fair, you know, he is one of the best media buyers that, uh, you know, is out there in my opinion. You know, he is up there. Uh, he is the cream of the crop in terms of Facebook ads uh, for e-commerce and I really do value his opinion. As he mentioned himself, he has purchased a lot of courses. Um, Erwin is someone who you know continuously invests in himself. Um, you know, if there's information to be um, found, purchased, you know, or coached on, he will invest in himself and you know gain that knowledge. So uh, because I know how much he invests in himself and because I value his uh, opinion as a media buyer, 
I gave him access to my course and said, I want you to, as friends, be brutally honest about my course, give me feedback on it, on how I can improve it and provide more value to uh, you know future potential uh, coaching students. And uh, like I said, this is what he had to say about it. So I'm very happy with that. I'm very happy that I've got his blessing, if you will. And with that said, I'm going to wrap up this uh, video. Hope you enjoyed this, guys. I, I know this is slightly different than the content that you usually see from my channel. You know, this is very much the nitty gritty on how to run uh, an agency. And, you know, it's very niched down rather than how to earn money online, etc. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them below this video. I do try my best to answer as many as possible. If I've made missed your question or if you don't feel comfortable replying as a comment you can also request access to my free lifestyle design community which is a facebook group that is linked in the description box down below as well you get access to uh, my free smma beginners course where i basically show you guys how to um, leverage the upwork business model um, the freelancer website method to getting clients something that i see a lot of um let's just say um you know course creators um, you know, basically charge good money for it's all free in the Facebook community. So make sure you check that out if that is something you find interesting. And with that said, I'm going to wrap up this video here. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video.